Hi, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can blend multiple channels and segments of video together in TrackX PC Pro. Um, here I have a mix, I've got three channels of video and uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to just blend two segments together. So I'm going to blend the first channel here, channel one, with the second channel, channel two, and I'm just going to blend with this segment here. So if I just grab the play bar and just show you at the moment, when I go into the second segment, you can see it just comes in like so. And um, the first way I'm going to show you, you can blend, and a uh, very simple way to blend is just to control the volume, uh, sorry, the video brightness bar, bar on the track name. So the minute I start bringing that down, you can see, I'll just make this video I put screen a bit bigger. You can see that they are starting to blend straight away. Now that's going to blend that's going to blend every segment on that channel and um so if I went down to this channel here this uh, this segment here on the same channel you can see that that's blending and maybe you don't want that so I'll just default this to restore to default and I just want this segment to blend but not this segment so what I would do is go into the segment properties and just control the video brightness for that segment so when I do that you can see that this is blending down there like so just close it down then so that is blending but if I go down to this second segment you can see that it's not blending so that's the way to control it very very simply using the video brightness bar now I'm just going to just restore this to its original. And I'm going to show you how another way to blend. So what I can do is then is just introduce a fade. So I'll just show you that it's not blending anymore. I can introduce a fade at the beginning of this chan of this segment. So once I do that and then grab the play bar, you can see that they are now fading again. So you can do that very, very quickly by just introducing fades at the beginning. And once I introduce a fade, you can see the blend between the two channels. A third way, and probably the most effective way to do blending, is to introduce a video brightness envelope onto the track. So to introduce a video, a video brightness envelope, I just click on the video brightness envelope button in the track name. And once I click on this button, you'll see a red bar appear. And this is the video brightness envelope. I can just grab this straight away just to show you that I can control the blend straight away using it. But a nice feature is that we've been able to, that we've introduced is that you're able to put envelope, uh, nodes on the envelope to control the level of blend that you want at any particular point. So I'll just introduce a few nodes and then when I bring it down you can see that I can control it at any particular point. I can also control the the envelope and how it blends together. So I can just right click on the envelope and maybe introduce a sharp and you can see that the, the shape of the envelope changes. So and so it gives me a lot more control about when the blends come in or when the blends come out and I can always just introduce more envelopes like so to control the level of blend and um, if I decide to move this segment that the blend will move with it because I have the sticky envelopes nodes button turned on he here in the toolbar I can actually just turn that off quickly just to show you that if I turn that off then the, the nodes stay but the segment changes but if I click it back on again I can then just move it and the nodes stay with it so with the video brightness envelope you're actually able to control exactly when the blends come in and the intensity and I can always just hold my mouse over a node to tell me what the intensity the percentage of the intensity is at that, that, that point and then I can see in the second it's blending but if I just put an, a node in here a node in here I can actually then control the whole video the, the video brightness and the blending for that whole channel and then if I want to br bring it down a bit 
so it, the the video brightness envelope really gives me a lot of power in how much I want the video to blend at any one time on this so I have a third channel here and I want this to blend as well so if I just continue on and grab the play bar you'll see that the blends end and uh, this third channel is now taking effect so what I want to do is blend these three video uh, channels together so again I'll just put in a video brightness envelope and then just control the video brightness maybe just put in a few nodes there as well and now when I grab the play bar I'm actually now blending three video segments together at the any one time which is very nice and of course with the envelope I'm always in complete control about how much blending I want at any one point so it gives you a lot more power and a lot more functionality of uh, uh, of when you want to blend and when you want to blend it and you always got to read out and you know exactly what the intensity of that blend is at any one point so we've we've worked worked hard on this and um we hope that um it gives you a lot more functionality and a lot more power in blending i just want to come back to one point about the um you can always just i just turn the envelopes there off and once i turn the envelopes off they just go back to normal but when i click the envelope back on it remembers what i did and then the blending so you can always turn it on and off very quickly by just turning on and off the envelope just want to get back to show you something about the fades again so here I have a fade in here and you can see it's blending if I didn't want this to blend and I just wanted it just to come in as per normal with no blending and just fade in from black I just turn off the collage button here uh, the collage button are defaulted on in all the channels and this allows the blending if I didn't want it to blend and I just wanted it to fade to black, I just turn off this collage button. So once the collage button is turned on, turned off, you'll see that this segment just fades in from black. But once I turn it back on again, the blending is now in effect. And again, here I have envelopes. I had an envelope on it, but I've turned it off. Once I turn this envelope back on, it remembers where the segments uh, the nodes are and it starts blending so I hope this helps and um, really you can blend as many channels of videos you want and you're in complete control of the blending when you want the blending to come in when you want the blending to stop and uh, I think it gives you a lot more power in in, in the blending functionality uh, I hope this helps and if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to contact me on the forum and I'll get back to you straight away. Thanks very much. Bye bye.